I'm Sherry Boshert reporting for IMNG Medical Media at the annual meeting of the Endocrine Society in Houston. Prophylactic aspirin is recommended to people with diabetes to prevent ischemic events. But a study by Dr. Subashimi Yaturu and Associates found that 53% of 152 young men with type 2 diabetes were aspirin resistant. Mean age was 48 years old and they were all on aspirin, 81 milligrams standard dose. And we did the aspirin assay also, though the data was not presented here uh, by mass spectroscopy, and we measured the urinary metabolite, thromboxan B2 metabolite, basically 11DH thromboxan B2. And 53% uh, of them have aspirin resistance marked by more than 1,500. So that is a significant number in spite of, and I wanted to look at it, what exactly is causing it. Does it correlate with any particular markers which can help us to identify those who have the aspirin resistance? My hypothesis was those who have fat, increased abdominal fat, or those who have inflammatory markers, they will have higher um, levels of aspirin resistance. In contrast, I really did not find in that relation. It was only correlated with IL-6, but not TNF-alpha. To say that it did not correlate with insulin levels or insulin resistance. So those are not the, so we cannot identify basically those patients. If the patients have high risk, especially from the, the correlation with the coronary artery disease patients tell you, that if they have very high risk um, for the CAD, not only just a diabetes, young patients also, they have family history or whatever it is. Like um, in those patients, it is always better to look at 11 DH, but it is still a research tool. In those patients, maybe they should be giving like 81 milligram twice a day so that the levels maintain well and the levels come down, the urinary metabolites come down. That's a good marker to suggest to help the patients to prevent coronary artery disease. Reporting for Global Medical Media, I'm Sherry Bosher.